What's your take on how Apple has sort of transitioned from a hardware company into now more services? I'm actually very proud of Apple as a company because of the fact we have been able to transition. We started out with the name Apple Computer, and then as we moved into products that were more personal in nature, like iPods and iPhones, we dropped the computer from our name. And being flexible and being able to shift with the demands of the market is very important for you know a modern, ongoing um, company that's really going to make it. So moving into services, if that's where a lot of the the business is, Apple's a huge company, mm -hmm. and we have to move. And, and, and so Apple can only move in directions that are going to be very large in dollar volume potentially. And uh, we've moved into some other hardware products like watches. Heck, my, that's about my favorite piece of technology in the world right now. But the services, when Apple Pay came along, you notice that Apple took a lot of steps leading the industry. Things like Touch ID, and then all the other smartphones had to copy it. You know, now we have Face ID. But then we took the Touch ID and moved it into Apple Pay, a system that really protects your identity in your credit card purchases everywhere. And it's also so unbelievably easy, especially if you have a watch, you just pay <laughs> so easily and, and you know what that but that's important making life easy is what we were known for in computers these were computers that you didn't have to be an expert to use and now Apple pay the Apple credit card is even more secure first of all the looks of it fits Apple's branding Apple's branding is to have a lot of you know um, you know a lot of uh, a secrecy about what they're doing but also uh, styling and beauty and things like that this card is just the most you know beautiful card I've ever had in my life and I don't even judge beauty that way very much I don't well, put a high value high value on it I don't but it is and it doesn't even have a number written on the card there's no camera that can peek at you using the card even in an ATM and somehow see uh, see what your credit card number is there's no way that um, people in a retail store ever get your credit card number and so it's like it continues that thing of protecting your privacy everywhere you go what you buy and where you buy it is you know shouldn't be really tracked that closely in my mind I don't want it I don't want to in my you know what could you use oh we see that you uh, you bought uh, you know a, a milkshake two hours ago I don't want somebody coming up to me and saying that well like Steve I want to get to privacy you're giving us a free advertisement because you keep flashing your iWatch around and if I heard you correctly you said it's one of your favorite pieces of technology the iWatch when it came out was let's call it mediocre since then though it has really grown and become a key piece for Apple are they doing the right thing with the Apple Watch incorporating some of the health services into that um, I'm not a biggie on health services, but yes, everybody, everywhere I go, people are, um, you know, using it for health services and, and information. And that's one of the pieces of it. The Apple Watch has so many pieces that make it uh, so comfortable for me. I can be walking my dogs, not have to carry a phone, not have to use a phone even. We got the iWatch now when it's on LTE cellular. Um, I can text my wife, you know, walking the dogs, Ziggy just pooped, you know, whatever. I can, uh, and I can, um, I, but Apple Pay is the best. I can put my movie tickets on the watch I can put my boarding passes for flights on the watch and do email I get notifications all the time and it's great to see what's happening around home oh uh, you know I don't know what I go from my computer in a hotel or at home my computer to do efficient email and whatever and keep up with news going on in the world and then I move to the watch and I pretty much skip the phone I'm not one of these people that wants to be like an addict you know going along Steve Jobs and I started this company trying to make blind and side sighted people more equal and we succeeded because everywhere you go look on the sidewalk or in front of you in your car on the street and there's people walking along not seeing anything except their phone so I don't want to be that in that habit area that addictive type area so I pretty much skip the phone for most things except maybe occasionally checking in or uh, you know or, or uh, Steve, an important message quickly, I, I have to ask you with 200 billion dollars of cash on the balance sheet what should Apple do with it <laughs> I never even think about that I do not want to think about um, uh, money and large amounts of it and where to put it I think Apple um, Apple's been doing a very very fine job first of all Apple makes a certain amount of money you know profit return on investment and you've got to you've got to look for investments that will keep that return level high App, that's what the Apple brand is partly based on so yeah. um, I hope Apple's you know I, I trust I trust businessmen that know a lot more about business than I do are inside of Apple